In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Brothers and sisters, that we may worthily celebrate together these sacred mysteries on the memorial of St. Elizabeth of Hungary, Holy Woman of the Church. We ask that the Lord God will deliver us from our sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, the Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Let us pray. Lord God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may so serve with unfailing charity the needy and the afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church of Sardis, write this, the one who has seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this, I know your works, that you have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen what is left, which is going to die, for I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then how you accepted and heard, keep it and repent. If you are not watchful, I will come like a thief, and you will never know at what hour I will come upon you. However, you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments. They will walk with me dressed in white, because they are worthy. The victor will thus be dressed in white, and I will never erase his name from the book of life, but will acknowledge his name in the presence of my Father and of his angels. Whoever hears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches, to the angel of the church of Laodicea, write this, the Amman, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation says this, I know your works. I know that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say I am rich and affluent and have no need of anything. And yet you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich and white garments to put on so that your shameful nakedness may not be exposed. And buy ointment to smear on your eyes so that you may see those whom I love, I reprove and chastise. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him, 
and he with me. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on my throne, as I myself first won the victory and sat with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fears the Lord. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho, and he intended to pass through. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, and he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and he said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. During the last two weeks of this ordinary time of year, in our weekday Masses, we turn our attention to the readings of the book of Revelation, the last book of the Holy Bible, and maybe one of the most misunderstood books of scriptures, too, and one of the most scariest that a lot of people react to as they hear and read it. And so there's a lot of controversy, and there's even controversy regarding the authorship of this wonderful book of the Bible, who uh, is responsible for receiving the Word of God and then uh, transmitting it to us by word. Some say that it might be John the Evangelist, the Gospel writer. Others say... uh, probably was connected to the evangelists or the evangelist community, but certainly seems like a different style of writing and vocabulary and all kinds of differences. So how could it be the same? And then others say, well, why don't we take it for what it's worth? And it says that this John is a John of Potmos, 
who would be a totally a different John. And we have to remember that Patmos was the island of exile for the John that says he is the author of the scriptures. Uh, just off the Macedonian uh, isle, an island, just off the Macedonian country there in that time. Um, so, yes, there are all kinds of um, wonderings and maybe sometimes we might even say things that are connected with fear regarding these scriptures and we'll hear them these uh, last few days of ordinary time and uh, hold them dear to ourselves and one of the s points that is made uh, about whoever is writing the scriptures is that these churches in Sardis and in Laodicea are lukewarm in their practice of the faith and the author and the Lord God, the angel that the Lord God is referring to says, don't be like that. Be hot and on fire with the love of God in your practice of the faith. And then certainly uh, connecting that with our gospel reading, we can say that that's true of Zacchaeus, who is given as a hero of the story, even though he was uh, considered a sinner, tax collector, wealthy man. Certainly we can say that about our saint of the day, uh, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, lived in the 1200s, um, a young woman who belonged to royalty, the daughter of a king, she a princess, uh, married off at a very young age, somewhere around 14 or 15 years old, and her husband gave her three children and died only after five, six, seven years of married life with her, and she died not long after that, but established wonderful works of charity in her home country in Hungary, on fire with the Lord Jesus in her life. And certainly these examples of vigorousness of faith are passed on to us as we come here today, praying for that Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to ignite us. Let us rise to offer our prayer the faithful. We pray for God's church, that the Lord continue to bless and purify her. We pray to the Lord. For all public officials and leaders of nations, may God grant them fortitude in their work of eradicating especially racism in our world. We pray to the Lord. For those who live with chronic illnesses or are in fear of viruses, may God's infinite love strengthen and heal them. We pray to the Lord. For this community of faith of St. Vincent that is gathered here today, may God's grace at work in our lives bear much fruit for the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. And for those who have died, may God's merciful embrace welcome them into his home. We pray to the Lord. Good and gracious Lord, we need your mercy. We ask that you hear and answer our prayers that we humbly place before you today in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By this mystery of water and wine, may the Lord share in our humanity and we in his divinity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands to become for us our spiritual drink. Sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Receive, Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate your Son's boundless works of charity may by the example of blessed Elizabeth be confirmed in love for you and in service to our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. And Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race set before us, and so win with them this imperishable crown of glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. And so with the angels and the archangels and with the great multitude of holy men and women, we too proclaim the hymn of your praise as without end. Together we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which is given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her blessed spouse, St. Joseph, with the blessed apostles, with St. Elizabeth of Hungary, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Elizabeth, who honored you with a tireless devotion and, by surpassing charity, was of service to your people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace of Christ. <laughs>